funky, yeah. It's definitely funky. Boo. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, there is no project today. But don't go. I have got two really cool Funkadelic I want to take me to projects on their way. They've just taken me a lot longer than I kind of anticipated. Hence why I didn't put a project up last week. So I apologise for that. I hope you didn't miss me too much. This is just a quick waffle, just with a couple of things I wanted to mention, a couple of updates, and also, I need your help. As some of you know, we are getting closer to Maker Central. Don't go anywhere. We're just looking for another moderator for the second stage. Uh, we've already got one moderator for, this, for the first main stage, uh, and um, that's kind of a person that will kind of like introduce kind of the makers, maybe ask them questions for the audience. Um, and we could do with maybe a couple of those people that are willing to kind of do that for the second stage. Someone that's kind of obviously got a bit of, bit of experience uh, of doing that. If you know of anybody, please send us an email at info at makerscentral.co.uk. We're not asking for somebody to kind of come in and just, you know, do that for the whole weekend. You know, a couple of hours maybe and help out. That'd be really cool. It's just literally for a few makers that have got that are on stage on the second stage we could do the moderator there that was it don't worry i'm not going to waffle on all about maker central but it is only three months away and if you don't know about it it's a show that we're putting on at the nec in birmingham in the uk and there's tons of people coming you've got to be there um i may be able to get over to workbench con which is in an atlanta um, I've been to Atlanta before. It's actually in a couple of weeks time. Um, I'm working on the finer details So I just might be there. That's just might. No guarantees just yet but If you're in the Atlanta area or going to the show or thinking about going to the show Well, I might see you hanging around. Happy days. Oh before I forget have you seen Charlie's comb bowl? Charlie the maker. I'll leave a link below for uh, Charlie the maker's comb bowl. It's going nuts so chuffed uh, and um, some guy from Instagram grain and brain I think his name was sent him down a load of colorful coat and uh, he decided to make a bowl out of it so it was really cool and it looks absolutely awesome you've got to check it out I'll leave a picture for it here as a little teaser and please go and check out the video of him making it and if you haven't subscribed to Charlie the maker why not he's a cool kid about this big and he's my son and he likes to make stuff also, oh, I had this in the post. Check this out. <laughs> That's a madness, absolute madness. Now somebody sent this in to me and it obviously says Nick, Nick Zemedi, which is pretty cool. And this, stay. Look at this. That is absolutely awesome. I've no idea how this guy did this. But here's a sneak preview because he did send me in a little video clip and here he is making it. Something that is unique and funky. Funky, yeah. It's definitely funky.
How cool is that? That's pretty awesome. Thanks very much, buddy. This came down from David Sylvester and his son, scroll saw artist. He's from, hmm, not too sure actually, somewhere. I'm really chuffed that you did that for me. I'm really cool. And yes, it is pretty funky. Magnum. This will be better placed in my new shop when I get it sorted. Um, but, um, and I will be uh, going into my new shop soon, hopefully soon. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, I did put up a little story uh, of my shop and my new uh, table saw and bits and pieces the other day, my new dust extraction. Go follow me on there if you, if you don't, but I do tend to put a few stories up and bits and pieces on there. Um, so that's gonna be pretty cool. It's much bigger than this shop. It was gonna allow me to do many more things, uh, buy us a bit more equipment and have a bit more room. Got this in the post as well. Nick, happy new year. Sorry, a little bit late opening this. I'm sending you a sticker. I was inspired to start wood turning by watching one of your videos. Keep the great videos coming for 2019. Cheers, Peggy. Cheers, Peggy. I presume this is your sticker because I did have a little bit of a disaster in the shop. PF wood turning. Um, and everything <laughs> fell on the floor and I had a bit of post and it kind of all kind of went all over the place. So I'm kind of hoping that that is you. There's not really any way of telling, to be fair. But I'm pretty sure it is. Got this in the post too. And this is from Tempe Roberts. Tempe, you writing to me again. This is Tempe's version of the pencil bowl. Or was it pencil vase? My idea for colour pencil structure. Project is lots of resin, clear out centre, Tempe Roberts. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Cheers Tempe. And I got this sticker in from Jordan Woodworks. Nothing to do with Wurzel Gummage. And this one, Pahali Barm Pahala. Pahala Barn Productions. These again will go on my shop. These again will go on my new shop sticker board. My new sticker board in my new shop. <sighs> mm, it's a bit colourful. Okay, that's it. I'm going to leave it there. Just wanted to kind of have a quick update, bit of post. And obviously, you know, wanted to know if anyone knew of any moderators out there. So don't forget to check out Makers Central. It is coming up soon. There's going to be loads of makers there. Colin First is coming. He's from the UK. He's got 7 million followers. Pretty crazy. I do hope some of you can make it. Hopefully, if all goes well, I will have a project for you this Friday. Uh, whether or not this goes up this Wednesday or not, I don't know. It may do. If not, it might be a Waffle Tuesday or even a Thursday. Who knows with my channel? Well, I just wanna say thanks to all my new subscribers that have come over to the channel, and obviously I really do appreciate you guys sticking around, and thanks to all my old ones for obviously sticking around. Does that make sense? Have a good one, take care.